Hello Space Fairies, welcome back. Today I am joined by Echo. And because we're both quite arty, I don't know if you've noticed, we're going to be doing an art thing. And we're going to be trying to draw Pokemon from memory. We have this random Pokemon generator on my phone and we're going to get Pokemon wrong and infuriate everyone. Also just the first gen because <laughs> yeah, we don't like... want to make it too challenging. Are you ready for our first Pokemon? I think that means yes in Echo. <laughs> <laughs> it also generates a picture, so I'm gonna try and just not look at it. I'll okay. just like cover it. Yeah, just, just, just <laughs> ready? Lick a tongue. Okay. All right, okay. Ooh, I'm already screwed. That's okay, we can make this work. Do they have noses? I'm not gonna tell you. I went to VidCon Amsterdam recently, and Hannah Hart was saying that Lick a tongue is her favorite Pokemon. She was only allowed to have like a limited amount of time each day that she's allowed to talk about Pokemon Go <laughs> because it annoys everyone else. Oh. This is bad already. Mine looks like a Squirtle having a really bad day. I don't remember what the body is, so I'm just gonna make it a, a bit too cartoony. If anything, this is like proving that artists need reference. Because when I was like Growing up, it used to really wind me up that I couldn't draw things just from my mind. Same! I, I want to make a whole video about that, about like tracing photos and using um, like references and how it's it's not cheating. Most of the greatest artists I know at some point had like an OC for some show and it's probably just a character from the show but with a different hair color. Yeah, exactly. But that's how you learn. Quite clearly, I cannot draw Pokemon unless I'm looking at Pokemon. It's like, I don't remember if like a tongue has a tail. Does it have a tail though? I mean, it kind of just looks like a toad without one. Oh, that's just not how mouths work. I have weird sock things on mine. <laughs> I might just like try and style like style it out. It's it was just... an artistic choice. Yeah. Why is Darth Vader blue? Oh, uh, you know. It's just for style, not because I ran out of black ink. Ditto's my favorite Pokemon that I would oh. actually want to be, because then I could be every Pokemon plus Echo. Vulpix was my very first favorite Pokemon. Because oh. Vulpix shows up in one of the early episodes. Jolteon. Jolteon's good. I love Jolteon. Jolteon's is one of my favorites. I love Eevee. Eevee was the Pokemon that I was like, that's the Pokemon I want because I can turn them into so many different things. Yeah. Should we do the big reveal? Yes. Okay. Oh, now it makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what Lickitung should look like. Maybe, editing Chloe, it's she's got her shit together. <laughs> here's what we've done. That's so bad. This is a different one. This is something from the second mm. generation. It's not a Lickitung. Which Pokemon is this? Because this is a different one that my brain is kind of smashing together with a Lickitung. I'm eating a Kit Kat. The human brain doesn't work well without reference photos. Did you ever have one of those um, like wooden dolls that you yes. could pose? Yes, but they, never, they were never like agile enough. Yeah, to I, I ran into that. Like if I want to draw someone sitting, you can't draw someone like sitting on their knees. So I was once an intern for um, an animation studio and they wanted me to learn how to use Maya. I learned how to do 3D modeling in basically two weeks. I started realizing that I could make my own like movable, posable mannequins, but digital versions that I could then just use to make use as 2D references. That's so genius. So like, I was just like, I'm not gonna learn how to 3D animate. I'm gonna learn how to use 3D animation to improve my 2D animation. <laughs> Who's next? Vile Plume. I caught my first Vile Plume in New York. Oh, I do not have a Vile Plume. I feel like I'm confusing it with another one in the generation. Does it have arms? Because Oddish doesn't have arms. Now I'm questioning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Why? I'm pretty sure I'm drawing Gloom. I just remembered extra things that I want to add. Oh, now it looks even more like Gloom. Okay, I screwed up. Oh, yeah, I screwed up massively. I was I was better off without. <laughs> Did you just look at it? <laughs> yeah, I just looked at it. I had it almost completely right until I added the extra things just now. I love like really awkward dying notices in video games. Everything's like, eh. <laughs> or like just very anticlimactic. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> when they're like overly dramatic or like, like they, they just sound like bored. This okay. is the saddest thing ever and I feel like it's... Oh. Okay, well here's oh. what it's supposed to look like. Here's what we've got. Oh, mine is, is close yeah. to finish. She got super close. I was gonna do stubby arms like that, and then I was like, no, I'll do these weird stick arms. He's happy, look how happy he is. I mean, it look it's a weird hybrid of Vile Plume and Gloom. Vile Gloom. It's Vile Gloom. <laughs> Are we ready for one more Pokemon? No, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> that is the correct answer. No. <laughs> Wait, which one? Scyther. I'm okay with Scyther. Oh, you can, okay. Do you wanna, oh, are we gonna Scyther? We'll do Scyther. This, it's, I mean, it's not gonna be completely good, but I remember certain aspects of him. I don't. Oh, no, this is starting to look like the rabbit from Donnie Darko. How has this gone so wrong? Mine's <laughs> just gonna look like a really weird dragon, but I accept that. 
This is... <laughs> I'm just gonna give it really human legs. <laughs> I'm just gonna add more wings and maybe that's the way to go. Was it not? Was it not? The like way? I knew it wouldn't be. It already had too many wings and I added more just to fill space. Oh shit, I didn't mean to draw that. That was bad. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Weirdly, I wasn't far off. Do you wanna go ahead and this is what it's meant to look like? Meant to. Can I see? No, no, no. One, two, three. and they just kind of hang there. He's got like massive like I other forget. boots. <laughs> yeah. This one, he looks so chill. Like I would hang out with this side there. I also gave him like a weird butt. So that was me and Echo trying to draw Pokemon from memory, proving if nothing else that artists need references uh, yes. to. If you like the video, click like, leave a comment, maybe saying which Pokemon you would draw really, really badly. And most importantly, subscribe to Echo. Aww. Go subscribe to Echo because she's awesome. And also we did a video on yeah, your channel. What happened there? Yeah. I, I'm trying to remember because we filmed it yesterday. Essentially, you kind of play art director and you have to like tell the other person how to draw, but you're not allowed to actually yeah. say what you're having them draw in any way. Yeah, that's good. I like that. The art director challenge. The art director challenge. That's good. Should we just say oh. bye? And then, <laughs> we'll like, say bye and then pretend freeze. to have a joke. Bye! <laughs>